If you're a hunter but tend to have more tactical gear in the closet than you do traditional hunting gear, then this video may be perfect for you. Now, just to give you a little bit of history or context as to why I chose to go with like a tactical hunting rig versus a lightweight, dedicated piece of gear. You know, I, I grew up in a family with you know strong military roots, and uh, it seemed like all of my camping gear was mil spec. I had the rucksack, green sleeping pad, pistol belt, and you know anything we did, you know, in the woods was twisted into some type of military training operation. You know, we we couldn't just go camping. You know, we had to patrol to some off path location, set up camp with ponchos, bungee cords, no fires. If we were lucky enough to have a flashlight, we had to have that, that grid, that uh, red filter, just to like save our night vision. So, needless to say, with a childhood like that, I, I fit right in at the 82nd Airborne Division. For me, going to the field, it was literally just like a normal camp out with my buddies. So, here we are. Let's fast forward 20 years, and uh, you know, I still can't get rid of that, that tactical mindset. And uh, for better or for worse, when I hit the wood line, it's like I walk different, breathe differently, and scan my surroundings, you know, just like when I was in the military. And... Honestly, I still love it. So, when configuring my gear for this last hunt, I'm, I'm still thinking tactical. You know, so I picked up this high-speed gear chest rig with a bunch of uh, pouches that I thought made sense for, for what I was, you know, what I thought I was going to need and, uh, and what I was likely to encounter. So, so, let's take a little closer look at what I ended up with. And, uh, you know, we started here with this, this high-speed gear Neo chest rig. You know, it's just the base that fits around your body real, real close. And then we have up here, this is our, our med pouch. And you know, I figure if I'm out in the woods navigating through rough terrain and uh, people are shooting, it would be a good idea to have you know some basic medical kit on hand. And uh, this kit comes with this kit comes with duct tape, petroleum gauze pads, a SWAT T tourniquet, and some uh, quick clock gauze that that all fits into this med pouch perfectly. So next to that we have the mini EOD, which fits this space really well. Um, has room for an internal organization features to hold, you know, a few extra rounds, cliff bars, range finder, kestrel, you know, a pen to fill out your tag, and a few other odds and ends like a, like a knife. And uh, you know, I like that I can throw stuff in this in this spot and have it held secure with bungees or these internal pockets, and and it just doesn't make any noise. Bungees, other stuff goes in there, super nice. Now next to that we have the Soft Taco. This thing's super versatile and uh, can be adapted to carry a wide variety of objects. I mean here I have a, a Nalgene water bottle and uh, I can swap that out for, for pretty much anything. It's easy in, easy out and uh, holds everything reasonably secure. On top here we have uh, the mini map pouch. Um, and in this I just threw a GoPro, you know, for that post hunt selfie, uh, have a headlamp and you know whatever else you could fit in here. Um, it's a great admin pouch because it holds you know, all the essentials close and, and everything I needed, but honestly, this one in particular is probably better suited for police or military applications. So it has spaces here for two mags and a bungee here for, you know, parachute flare on the bottom. I'm just not going to use either of those on a, on a hunt. So I think this space would probably be a little better for like a pokey pouch or like a, like a low profile, you know, general purpose pouch. Now you may be thinking it looks cool, but how did it actually work in the field? Well, after spending several days, you know, stomping through the brush and going up and down the mountainsides, this thing held everything really close to my body. You know, it was quiet, it was comfortable. I didn't get any like sore spots and uh, everything I needed was readily accessible. You know, I didn't have to leave anything behind. And uh, one thing I really like about gear like this is my, just products like this is the ability to, to adapt to like whatever I'm gonna do. I mean, in this case, you know, I was deer hunting in the mountains of Utah, but uh, tomorrow I can reconfigure this thing, throw on a couple mag pouches and, and, uh, and hit the range. So. You know, I don't want gear that I'm just going to use two weeks out of the year and have it sit in the closet. I want to be able to reconfigure, you know, and use it all year. I mean, this system will let me do just that. Peel it off, throw on mag pouches, peel it off, throw on some hunting gear, and, and I'm good to go. Now, with that said, thanks for tuning in. And if you're finding any value in the content you're watching on this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. When I see your subscription come in, it just it helps me know that I'm on the right track and keeps me motivated creating good content. So thank you for that. Stay safe, have fun and I'll see you at the range.